accounts receivable is basically the same thing. We're making sure that everything has been posted in both AR and GL. We're running an aging, and we're comparing that aging to a general ledger report. So let me go ahead and back over here, open up accounts receivable. Okay, I'm going to run an aging. And the one I, I typically run, because it runs faster, is the detail by customer. Again, give it an aging date. And I'll need to add a condition here for the company. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we will find the report totals here. And then back in general ledger, I'm going to run the financial statement again. Run the individuals. Okay. okay, so let's compare here. Oh, this is way off. 93, let's look back. 93. Oh, it's way off. All right, so we need to take a look now. Inside General Ledger, we're going to follow what we did with AP. So let's take a look first at. What do we have sitting out in the new file? And I'm going to condition this so that the company is just equal to 21. So we don't look at all the one, the tens there. So let's see if we have anything in. No, nothing in accounts receivable that needs to be posted. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run this report again from the current file. And let me grab the AR account, and then I'm going to put a condition on it that the application of origin, let's we'll just say, is equal to GL. So we'll see if anything has been entered in manually through General Ledger. No. So this one is going to take a little bit more research to see um, what's happened uh, to the two. Now, in your handout, I've got um, some examples. I've got an example of the uh, aging report detail by customer, and you can see that it is out of balance um, between the two. Uh, it's also the retainage is also out of balance. So if you look at the new file here, um, you can see that there are some entries in uh, the new file for both company 10 and 21 that need to be posted. And again, the same reports, that the same additional reports uh, running the reconciliation report, the AR summary report, can also help with this. So in AR, again, you can run under reports. There is reconciliation, and we have the AR summary report. It's the same concept. Um, you'll put in the date range, and then if you need to roll back, uh, because it's not the current period that you're in, you'll put the number of periods to roll back. And then when you get the report, you'll look for uh, the lines that have red, that are marked in red on the bottom of page 7. Okay. 
Now, it's, it's pretty much the same between AR and AP. When those two uh, applications are out of balance, it's either something in the new file that needs to be posted, something was posted to that account from an incorrect application, like, like General Ledger, or it's a date issue. Um, I see that quite a bit, especially at year end when people are, are not comfortable with the new year uh, as they're entering transactions. And then when they try to correct it, they, they either it, it, it doesn't correct itself, which when they think that it should have, or they end up doubling it up uh, where they don't want to. So one of those three things is where you need to start.